Well, it was a really interesting Thursday trading in, uh, in crude oil here. So uh, I called a bull run today and we did run. As you can see here, we had a nice size spike uh, leading into uh, European markets closing. Uh, and we've managed to actually break through $43, which I did expect, although I chickened out before, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, but uh, what really surprised me, and I think surprised a lot of people, was that after cracking 43, we didn't actually make it to 43.50. Uh, that was a level expected by a lot of uh, bullish traders, uh, but we topped out at 43.31. Um, and I think that lack of strength among the bulls caused this kind of precipitous fall. And uh, ultimately at, at about one o'clock Eastern, um, we actually fell back below 43. Um, and uh, I've been waiting to break this level of 4270 now um, for the past uh, hour or so, uh, hour and a half actually, uh, to repurchase my long, which I sold. And uh, I'll, I'll elaborate in a moment, um, but uh, that seems to be quite a floor. Uh, lots of resistance there and it doesn't look like we're gonna um, break through before uh, North American markets close anyway. Um, in which case I'm perfectly happy to wait until uh, tomorrow, Friday's trading session, and uh, I expect that I'll be able to buy back into my long position um, at uh, a little bit better than this. Um, I would expect probably 42.50, maybe even better than that. Um, but as you can tell, I'm still bullish. I think we're going up. Um, it's not to say that we might not break below 42, um, maybe even 40, who knows? Uh, I, that's not what I'm saying at all. I just think that long term, um, and I'm, you know, I do, I do take advantage of swings and I do scalp when, you know, I'm being offered a nice profit. Um, but ultimately, I'm bullish long term. I think we're going to see the upper 40s, um, low 50s, you know, not too um, long from now. Um, so as far as uh, my my particular action, um, as you guys know, I bought in yesterday at 42.20, uh, which I missed the the low. Uh, so that's down over here. Uh, I missed the low of uh, 42.08 in uh, yesterday's trading, and and uh, bought in at 42.20, which proved to be quite a good resistance level as well. Um, and held on to it even though we saw a high of 42.72 uh, yesterday in Wednesday's trading session. Um, this morning, we had quite a battle to break through 43, and at about 10 a.m., um, basically we kind of jumped up to this um, mid 4290s um, range. I, I think we got as high as 4298 or so. I apologize for the phone beeps. Um, and uh, I really thought that, you know, I started to question my own um, bullish sentiment as to whether today was going to be the day that we make it through 43. So um, I was being offered a 3.3% profit on yesterday's long and I said you know what if we ended up dropping I would kick myself for not taking that profit off the table. Um, so that's exactly what I did um, and I'm perfectly happy doing that any day of the week. That's a nice uh, 700 and change profit um, in the bank. And as you can see, we're now in a, you know, we're lower than where we sold, which was 42.92. So even if we bought in right here, we're still ahead of the game. Um, but I think tomorrow we have a little bit more of a pullback, um, but ultimately I do expect another bull run soon. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of how my day evolved. Um, you know, I, like I said, I don't, I don't see that I'm not making a call here that we're not going to go below 42. It's it's very possible, and that's why I always have cash on hand. Um, I never go all in in anything. That's why if you look at uh, you know my uh, tradingjournal.ca account and the positions, the weighting is listed there with with every trade, and you know most trades are kind of in the 20% ish. Um, waiting, so meaning like 20% of my portfolio. So if you take $100,000, it's a, roughly a $20,000 position. And I do start to increment up those positions um, the kind of more consistently I am wrong. So if you will, you know, I, I got in originally at the highs of 52. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no one no one say anything. I know. But, uh, um, you know, as we've been falling, I've repositioned those, taken profits where I've been offered them. And, uh, you know, at this point, I'm still only in for 60% of my portfolio. 
but I've taken a whole lot of profit in the meantime. So I'm perfectly happy with where I am. And uh, ultimately, you know, my unrealized losses right now, I think are gonna be returned to me probably in the next couple of weeks. I know a lot of people disagree with me, but hey, you gotta believe in something. So um, yeah, so now it's basically, let's see kind of what happens uh, tomorrow. If I'm wrong and we end up bouncing back up through 43, rather than uh, retreating a little bit more than, uh, than where we are right now, then I'm okay with that too. Um, keep in mind, all my existing positions are long, so anything up is, you know, is payday for me. Um, so the higher we go, the better. Um, I just think that there's going to be a little bit more of a retreatment here um, and uh, an, an, a better buy opportunity basically tomorrow. But if I'm wrong and we do crack through 43, I do expect us to make a push past 40, uh, 43.50 and I don't, I don't rule out 44 at all tomorrow. So uh, yeah, that, that's my feeling. Um, 42 tomorrow, I think we might test it. I don't think we crack it. Um, I don't think it's in the cards for tomorrow. Um, so if you're, if you're bearish um, and you wanna take a, a short position, I think where we are right now, 42.70, go for it. I think there's room to profit from there. Um, it's just not my personal feeling and I'm not comfortable being stuck with that position if it turns out not to be the case. Um, because if we, if we move up from here, if this proves to be the floor, that's really gonna sting you know, uh, a month from now. So um, I hope others did uh, were more patient than uh, than I was today, and you took more of the profit than I was able to. Um, you know, there was another. If you're on a two x ETF like I am, then there was another one percent in it for you um, today. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was a really fun day, really fun to watch the game play out, and I guess we'll see what tomorrow holds. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned. Use the comments down below on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find details of my trades. And uh, good luck to all in the coming 40 or 54 minutes of trading today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.